Mike's Daily Podcast. Mike's Daily Podcast. And episode 2450. Mike's Daily Podcast. It's been a while since I've done this podcast. It's been almost a week, but I still call it Mike's Daily Podcast because I don't know what else to call it. So I sing this song Hey, I stayed up late Watching Stranger Things And I got through something like Is it the 8th episode? Whatever, it's We just started the last one Mike's Daily Podcast And I don't I'm not bragging I'm not saying anything I'm not a fan I'm not Mike's I'm not someone Daily Who is just Podcast Awash with Yeah Stranger Things memorabilia, t-shirts, posters. I don't buy fung- non-fungible tokens that have the kid with the curly hair. And he had some reconstructive surgery done with his teeth. I don't know his name. I don't know any of their names. I know the guy, the, the sheriff guy, who lost a lot of weight for this episode. Because he was in Russia. He's at some Russian prison. Hopper. Is it Hopper or Hoffer? Edward Hopper was an amazing artist. And I actually have a painting of his. It's a not real. It's a copy. But if you would like it, I'm trying to sell it on Craigslist. Oh, wait. I think that got, that was several months ago. It's probably been taken off by now. Okay. Remember when we all used Craigslist? Craigslist was such a big thing. Is it still being used? Old guys like me maybe still use it, but the late great Basil the Boxer was a Craigslist find. My lovely lady friend, he, uh, she met him, the ex-husband, through a Craigslist. Maybe not that. That didn't work out. Uh, but I did not meet my ex-wife through Craigslist. However, it is her birthday, so happy birthday to her. And here's today's podcast picture. Non-fungible tokens That's just about the dumbest thing Ever conceived Aside from Bitcoin I don't understand why Young people feel as if they, they're they pulling the, They're a fast one on us all By jumping into something like this Don't think I don't think it's the Hey, the late great Basil the Boxer found on Craigslist I, I think At some point Maybe you'll make money off of it if you're lucky, but whatever. I don't know. But then I am 53, so it's probably not going to... I can just... So we... We old people. We remember our late, great relatives and the things that they would tell us. And the things about stuff that's real. Stuff that's... Here and now Stuff that You gotta take care of Now The important stuff The stuff that When you're a kid And my dad told me this once He said You know right now You're just a kid Everything is like A big bubble It's like a big balloon No it wasn't a bubble It was a balloon Everything's a big balloon Mike In the world Floating around Oh the podcast picture May be of a balloon I'm not sure It'll be something recent See it at Mike'sDailyPodcast.com Oh, everything is so your bed. Everybody there. You're just, uh, everything's great. But someday, Mike, someday reality will smack you in the face. Truth hits everybody, as the police say, saying eons ago. But he might be right. Dad was right about a lot of things, wrong about a lot of things. He told me once, I might not always be right, but I'm never wrong. I'm like, that doesn't make sense. Inflation, everybody. You're inflating balloons. I was talking about balloons. We're talking about inflation. Okay, maybe we weren't. But now we are. So, inflation is bad, okay? Apparently, we've gotten to the point now with house prices going up. And this recession upon us It might be cheaper to just rent I don't know When you own a house When you go and you Leverage yourself to the hilt to buy a house 
Well now you won't be leveraging yourself as bad As prices start to go down But if you do And you buy a house There are things called (sighs) Taxes Property taxes House insurance Got repairs That water heater is going to go sooner than later Maybe a your whole electrical system needs to be redone There's, Somebody complains about a hedge that got too big You need to chop that down Maybe you can do it on your own Maybe you can't Maybe you gotta pay somebody Or maybe you're gonna attempt to do it yourself And cause yourself some bodily harm There's just so much involved Roofs, leaks All that so nicely ensconced away when you are renting Because that landlord's got to take care of it Unless he or she or they are a bad landlord And they can't keep up on keeping repairs taken care of I've been there too And then As if by some sweet bit touched by Irony And faith The house that I rented or uh, the, I was in a duplex A house But the room that I rented That house The whole thing Burned to the ground Not while I was still renting from it But I had left it In 2007 It burned to the ground In 2013 2014 So about seven years later And that was it But I remember that landlord uh, the, Everything's plugged up Nothing flushes Oh I'll be down in three days What do I do till then Well I haven't raised your rent So You know I don't know Use a bathroom in in a Starbucks (laughs) It's just the fact that We have An interesting economy That's Changing a bit these days So Wasting money on things that are f- not I'm not going to call them frivolous But they're a little bit liquid A little bit fluid A little bit untrustworthy May not be the best idea Even if you're all gung-ho about trying the next big thing Oh, I know what the next big thing is Look, I invested money in it Oop, I lost it But I got a bunch of money now Oh, I lost it Then there's the gas And gas prices have been coming down a little bit lately But how long will that last? I don't know Here at Cafe Anyway Do any of you know? No? Alright, then I'm gonna leave Walking outside a Cafe Anyway Somewhere in Podcastro Valley Maybe you wanna leave and go into space? Lost in space Astronauts lose decades worth of bone mass in space That many do not recover even after a year back on Earth It's a big concern for future missions to Mars According to the AFP And MSN.com Previous research has shown Astronauts lose between 1-2% to of bone density For every month spent in space As the lack of gravity takes the pressure off their legs When it comes to standing and walking Because now you're floating To find out how astronauts recover once their feet are back on the ground, a new study scanned the wrists and ankles of 17 astronauts before and during and after being on the International Space Station. The bone density lost by astronauts was equivalent to how much they would shed in several decades if they were back on Earth. The researchers also found that the shin bone density of nine of the astronauts had not fully recovered after a year on Earth, and they were still lacking around a decade's worth of bone mass. The astronauts who went on the longest missions, which ranged from four to seven months on the ISS, were the slowest to recover. The longer you spend in space, the more bone you lose. Also, so you're listening to me here on some sort of platform. I list all of them at my website, mikesdailypodcast.com. Many places to listen to this podcast. Not, however, on TikTok. 
TikTok is in danger of being banned in the U.S. after FCC Commissioner Brendan Carr called for Google and Apple to remove the app from its online stores. This by Roy Traken from allaccess.com. Brendan Carr tweeted an open letter to Google Alphabet CEO Sundar Pichai, Pichai and Apple CEO Tim Cook requesting the Apple's removal. TikTok is not what it appears to be on the surface. Said Carr, this echoes former President Donald Trump's concerns when he threatened to shut down the music site. Quote, it's not just an app for sharing funny videos and memes. That's the sheep's clothing, says Brendan Carr. Carr wrote that the article only adds... To Oh, talking about uh, BuzzFeed published a story last week Claiming US user data had been accessed from China Off the platform So if you are on TikTok China's watching you China's scanning you Is that as bad as Google scanning you? Well I don't want China scanning me And I say that because I used WeChat for a while I believe that that is from Tencent, a Chinese company. And I had to use it because my roommate, who was originally from Hong Kong, had flown back to Hong Kong and then to China and said the only place to actually speak to me, if you want to communicate with me, is through WeChat. And so I had to use WeChat, which then corrupted my phone. And ate up all my data And actually I tried to use that same phone For something else Because I was going to use it as a like a Kind of like an iPod Even though it's not an Apple product It's a Samsung phone But I was going to use it for something like that Like storing and playing music off of And it it was so crashed I had not turned it on in a while But I, I certainly think that China had something to do with it So TikTok functions as a sophisticated surveillance tool that harvests extensive amounts of personal and sensitive data, says Brendan Carr. How that differs from any other internet company probably does not. Hey, Robert Robert Wagman. Ah, I remember seeing him. He works at All Access. That's right. I remember seeing him perform to a stand-up routine. On Ventura Boulevard uh, Studio City I think it was That's right My ex-wife and I Back when we were married We went down to see him Do stand up He was good And it was right across the street This place It's the Sportsman's Lodge I don't know if it's still there Sport Whatever it's called Something like that On Ventura Boulevard Across the street Was this old timey looking diner Like imagine Denny's But older With these Big, uh, they used to do that decoration with huge rock, pieces of rock, kind of making it look like the Flintstones. And that was used in a lot of movies, including role models. I remember that being used in role models. They're eating at the restaurant, the guys that are part of that role playing game. And they have a big uh, showdown in the restaurant. I forget how it goes, but something to that effect. I'm forgetting a lot of things on today's podcast. My memory is like a balloon blowing away in the wind. So indeed, TikTok collects everything from search and browsing histories to keystroke patterns. Yes, keystroke patterns and biometric identifiers, including face prints. Which researchers have said might be used in unrelated facial recognition technology and voice prints. Remember the Russians had some kind of app that would take a picture of your face and then age it, make it look, this is what you're going to look like when you're old. And the Russians saved all that material. They got our faces. They've stolen our faces. That's frightening. And it was frightening as a child, too, when an adult would do that. But, oh, no, wait, they were stealing my nose. But 
ended up being their thumb. I think that's what it was. They also collect TikTok, collects location data as well as draft messages and metadata. Plus, it has collected the text, images, and videos that are stored on the device's clipboard. The list of personal, that's right, every time you use a clipboard, every time you copy and paste. The list of personal and sensitive data collected goes on from there. This should come as no surprise, however, within its own borders. The PRC has developed some of the most invasive and omnipresent surveillance capabilities in the world to maintain authoritarian control. People's Republic of China TikTok announced last week That it is migrating the platform uh, the, the US user data To Oracle servers Located in the states To try and reassure Reassure the American public But Brendan Carr says that the migration does not address the concerns raised here. TikTok has long claimed that its U.S. user data has been stored in servers in the U.S. and yet those representations provided no protection against data being accessed from Beijing. Apple and Google have long claimed to operate their app stores in a manner that protects consumer privacy and safeguard their data. Therefore, Brendan Carr said, I am requesting that you apply your app store policy to TikTok and remove it from the app stores and Google Play Store for failing to comply with those policies. And Carr requested a response by July 8th from the two companies. Finally saying, will anyone, will someone explain the serotip, serotip, Surreptitious Access of private and sensitive U.S. user data by persons Located in Beijing Coupled with TikTok's pattern Of misleading Representations And conduct Does not run afoul Of any other Of their uh, app store policies Surreptitious Okay that all from Brendan Carr The FCC commissioner Remember when it was the Jeep Pie? He was pretty strict Okay, there you go Fascinating and formative information That's in phenomenal We're outside a cafe anyway Somewhere in Podcaster Valley Look who's here Oh my god, he's a jolly too hard to get the job supervisor I watch TikTok all the time, it's great And you can't scare me into not watching it, Mike Matthews Because you're old It's not because I'm old Okay You can do your TikTok And your Bitcoin And your Fungible Non-fungible tokens And your All that But just be aware That you're not very aware And things are going to come back to bite you Uh Whatever Mike Matthews And look who's there Look who else is here Oh Mike This is Floyd the Floorman And this is John Deere The engineer Mike How's it going With all that stuff With your Radio stations Mm-mm. Yeah we got on a new system Not Nutri system Although a lot of radio personalities are on that No I'm talking about that we have Switched over To a whole new Radio system That will help us Playing back our programs And our programming And it was a It's a long It's done Somewhat, but there's still a lot. I'm there's a lot I'm watching like a hawk, and so I'm constantly jumping on on the internet trying to fix stuff for our stations. But yeah, for the most part, it's done. But it seems like one thing's done, and a lot of other stuff falls on my plate yet again. Which is why I'm taking off next Wednesday. Hey, I hope the rest of your 4th of July weekend is great. If it's not the 4th of July weekend, if you're listening to this sometime in the future, hello, future people. You are the best with your cool um, spacesuits and your lack of bone density and everything else. But I wish all the best for you, surreptitiously. And that the next show will have the wonderful Bonita, the disgruntled fiddle player and the brewmaster. You can call me and you can... Pay your uh, thoughts forward. Hmm? 
You can submit your thoughts. You can say your thoughts however way you want to say that. You can do that by calling 336-MM-DAILY. That's 3 plus 3 equals 6. MM is in Mike Matthews Daily as I went this podcast. We'll hopefully try to be again and not get interrupted as I get interrupted constantly throughout my day. Or you can email me, Mike's Daily Podcast at gmail.com. And with more on all that, it's A-Frame. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.